Welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video we are going to talk about 7 strangest new aerospace engines. So before starting this video like this video, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. There are tons of weird and unconventional designs coming out. So let's look at some of the newest aerospace engines. Number 7. Electric Jet Engine. As land-based transportation moves away from fossil fuels and toward energy, carbon-neutral air travel could be just around the corner for us. Since fossil fuels are both unsustainable and dangerous, new strategies for avoiding their use are needed. A group of researchers has now built a prototype jet engine that can only travel forward by using electricity, there are no fossil fuels to be found. The system, developed by researchers at Wuhan University's Institute of Technological Sciences, compresses and ionizes air using microwaves, this produces plasma, which propels the engine forward. This means that, in the future, planes will only require electricity and the air around them to fly. The team's key motivation for developing this new form of engine was our planet's desperate climate change situation. The aim of our research is to aid in the resolution of global warming issues, caused by humans' use of fossil fuel combustion engines to power machinery such as cars and aeroplanes, said Zhao Tang, the study's lead researcher and a professor at Wuhan University. With our design, there is no need for fossil fuel, so there is no carbon pollution to cause greenhouse effects and global warming. Number 6. Monarch 5. Nikon Vision Co. Limited, a Nikon Corporation subsidiary, is proud to launch the new Monarch 5 series, which includes three fully redesigned 42mm diameter binocular models, to complement the long-respected Monarch family of sports optics. The Monarch 42mm binoculars from Nikon are highly regarded for their high optical efficiency in a sleek, easy-to-grip body style. The Monarch 5 will be released shortly, with ED lenses and a dielectric high-reflective multi-layer prism coating. The current Monarch models have an outstanding reputation among outdoor professionals who depend on them due to their high-quality optics and lightweight yet durable frame. The Monarch 5 series builds on the strengths of its illustrious predecessors, leveraging Nikon's long history of optical innovation, while delivering improved performance in a modern, sophisticated design. The Monarch 5 series uses ED glass to minimize chromatic aberrations, while a dielectric high-reflective multi-layer prism coating creates brighter images and more natural colors, making these binoculars suitable for outdoor activities, like birdwatching and hunting where consistent performance is required. Number 5. Tempest Engine. The Hawker Tempest was a British fighter aircraft that saw service with the Royal Air Force, RAF, during World War II. The Tempest, originally known as the Typhoon II, was an improved derivative of the Hawker Typhoon, that replaced the Typhoon's wing with a thinner laminar flow configuration, to fix the Typhoon's sudden degradation in performance at high altitude. It was called Tempest because it had diverged significantly from the Typhoon. The Tempest was one of World War II's most powerful fighters, and it was the war's fastest single-engine propeller-driven aircraft at low altitude. The Tempest was used as a low-level interceptor, especially against the V-1 flying bomb threat, and as a ground attack platform, supporting major events such as Operation Market Garden, when it first entered service in 1944. Later, it was effective in targeting German rail infrastructure and Luftwaffe aircraft on the ground, as well as combating German fighter attacks. The Tempest was successful in low-level interception missions, including against newly developed jet-powered aircraft like the Messerschmitt Me 262. Number 4. Fenris Air Rocket Engine. A tiny airfield about two hours north of Los Angeles sits on the edge of a vast desert expanse and draws aerospace mavericks like moths to a flame. Scaled Composites, the first private company to send a private astronaut to space, and Maston Space Systems, which develops lunar landers, are both located at the Mojave Air and Space Terminal. It's the testing ground for America's most ambitious space ventures and Aaron Davis and Scott Stegman realized they were in the right place when they landed on the hallowed tarmac last July. The two men arrived at the airfield early in the morning to set up a test stand for a prototype of their air-breathing rocket engine, which is a combination of a rocket motor and a jet engine. Their unholy invention is known as Fenris, and Davis claims it is the only way to make space travel affordable for the rest of us. An air-breathing rocket motor draws the bulk of its oxidizer directly from the atmosphere, while a traditional rocket engine must hold large tanks of fuel and oxidizer on its journey to space. In principle, this ensures that an air-breathing rocket can lift more cargo with less propellant, lowering the cost of space access significantly. Number 3. Pulse Detonation Engine. 
A pulse detonation engine PDE, is a type of propulsion device that combusts the fuel and oxidizer mixture using detonation waves. Since the mixture in the combustion chamber must be refreshed between each detonation wave and the next, the engine is pulsed. A PDE can theoretically fly at speeds ranging from subsonic to Mach 5 in hypersonic flight. Since a detonation wave quickly compresses the mixture and adds heat at constant volume, an optimal PDE design can have a higher thermodynamic efficiency than other designs like turbojets and turbofans. As a result, moving parts such as compressor spools may not be needed in the engine, potentially reducing overall weight and expense. Since 1940, PDEs have been considered for propulsion. Fast and efficient mixing of the fuel and oxidizer, prevention of auto-ignition, and integration of an inlet and nozzle are all main areas for further improvement. While no practical PDE has been produced to date, several testbed engines have been designed, one of which was successfully incorporated into a low-speed demonstration aircraft that flew in sustained PDE-powered flight in 2008. The Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency DARPA, unveiled BlackSwift in June 2008, with the aim of reaching Mach 6 speeds using this technology. However, in October 2008, the project was announced to be cancelled. Number 2. Rotating Detonation A rotating detonation engine RDE, is a theoretical pressure gain combustion engine in which one or more detonations move through an annular channel continuously. The RDE has been shown to have potential in transportation and other applications through computational simulations and experimental results. The effects of detonative combustion expand at supersonic speeds. It has the potential to be up to 25% more efficient than traditional deflagrative combustion. A substantial improvement in productivity would result in significant fuel savings. A detonation wave that passes around a circular channel is the basic principle of an RDE, annulus. Tiny holes or slits are used to inject fuel and oxidizer into the tube. Any kind of igniter causes a detonation in the fuel-oxidizer mixture. The detonations are self-sustaining once the engine is started. A single detonation ignites the fuel-oxidizer mixture, releasing the energy needed to keep the detonation going. The incoming fuel and oxidizer force the combustion products out of the tube causing them to expand. Number 1. Jetta Petra. Airframes and engines are typically constructed separately and bolted together in conventional aircraft construction. Owing to the added drag, this results in inefficiencies. By non-distributed propulsion, the method often results in propulsive inefficiencies. Hovering and VTOL specifications add to the system's complexity, scale, and weight. Jetoptera's architecture combines true distributed propulsion into a novel airframe. As compared to small turbojets, it increases propulsive performance by more than 10% while lowering fuel consumption by more than 50%. When compared to turbofans or turboprops, the propulsion system saves about 30% of weight and greatly reduces complexity. Hovering and VTOL capabilities are included in the integrated aircraft. When a gas generator's simple design is combined with our advanced augmentation method, the result is significantly higher performance than conventional small turbojets. It also ensures excellent operability and low fuel consumption during the flight. What do you think about this video? Let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.